to my channel if you're new here I'm Auntie Z today's cooking class I want to show you how to make a very very refreshing drink that is made from ingredients that have properties that are anti-inflammatory antiseptic and that help fight diabetes regulate blood sugar and even help you lose weight are you as excited as I am today all right I'm going to give you a rundown of the ingredients and then we can start the process so to make this recipe we are going to be needing um, a small lemon two oranges a pineapple and then of course we need our um, hibiscus flour dried have hibiscus flour leaves and this is also called zobo so we are going to be needing just about a cup of this and then we are going to be using two cinnamon sticks and just about um this this much of ginger and then we also need some water which i've already put on the stove to start boiling peel and already washed pineapple and we're going to be using the the peel of the pineapple for this recipe so let's go ahead and start the process all right guys the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel this already washed pineapple and we're going to use the peels for our zobonade okay so we are going to just go ahead and peel this and put it inside there well growing up my mom taught us how to do to use the peels of pineapples actually to make juice you know the peels also have some nutrients and also have some of the taste of the pineapple so you don't want to throw the peels away when you're if you're if ever you're making juice with pineapples you can always put it in in some water boil it and then cool cool it up and drink it later very 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 healthy we're going to cut the cut the flesh into small pieces just like this which we're going to juice we are not going to boil that now you might be hearing my daughter in the background speaking that's Gabby <laughs> I think some of you have already seen her in some of my videos so don't be surprised if you hear her voice I might just go ahead and taste that I don't know how many of you always taste fruits when you're cooking mm. delicious Hey Gabby. Hi sweetheart. So this part or the stock that is so strong we are going to boil it as well. So it's just going to go inside there. And I just can't resist eating. We are going to just slice everything up like this. And we are going to also add it into our pot of water there. We are using two oranges. You can also squeeze it in if you want to extract the juice. Just go ahead and squeeze it in like that. And throw it in there. We are not going to be throwing anything. We need all these fruits inside there. Same thing with the lemon. Slice it, throw it in, and the lime as well. Throw it in. Now, what we have left is our ginger, and just go ahead and cut a piece. You don't need to peel it because the peels also have a lot of great nutrients that are good for us. So we are just going to slice it up a little bit like that. This is about a thumb size right here. Okay. And put it in. All right. Now the last thing we're going to be putting in is our cinnamon sticks right inside there. Well, not the last, but... That goes in as well. And then we're going to put in the fully release. So guys, this is what your pot should look like. We are going to 
close bring it to a boil when it starts boiling we are just going to switch off the the heat okay because we do not want to destroy the nutrients but guys before we start boiling this i want to take the taste up a notch and so i'm going to add an ingredient you might be surprised with these are cloves and they are great to add a little bit of spice add some zing in that in that drink okay so i'm going to just just quite a few of them just throw them in as well and then we're going to bring this baby to a boil now while this is boiling we're going to go ahead and juice our pineapples i have previously cut this pineapples into smaller pieces okay and then we are going to just go ahead and juice that i'm going to be adding a, a little piece of ginger as well into the pineapple juice here beautiful glass of pineapple ginger juice mm. this is so good but we are going to be using this um, with the cooked zobo pineapple cinnamon lemon orange juice okay let me just put this away before I finish it mm. now that everything is boiling we're just going to turn up down the heat And then we're going to leave this to cool until it's completely cool and then I'll get back to you okay guys um, our juice is completely chilled as you can see we're going to strain it to separate all of this oranges and everything from the real juice so we're going to pass it through a sieve like this one so this is the juice we've extracted there is still some more in the pot but I'm just going to show you what we're going to do next uh, remember the pineapples we juiced earlier on right so this is what we're going to do with it we're going to mix some of it inside here to enhance the pineapple flavor so I'll just go ahead and taste that mm, this is so good so so delicious it actually tastes like wine because of the cloves so if you want to sweeten this up a little bit i've got stevia right here which is a plant-based kind of sweetener very good for those of us who are trying to lose weight remember that stevia is really really concentrated so you don't want to put too much i'll taste it again mm. okay so we're good to go guys this juice is ready to be served so we're going to add some ice cubes into our glass right there we want to make it extra chilly because it's a hot day right so you just go ahead and add your ice as appropriate okay We're going to first of all add in some pineapple juice and then we add in our zobonade And then you can add some more pineapple as you please. There you go. Wow, doesn't this look delicious, guys? Look at that. Oh, wow delicious it looks delicious and I know that it tastes delicious as well so let's go ahead and give it a taste mm. 
this juice is so good and it's ideal for a hot sunny day like today so go ahead and give this recipe a try give my video a thumbs up if you make this recipe take a picture of it and tag me on instagram at shape of african or on facebook at shape of african as well visit my website do not forget to like and share subscribe until next class people bye mm, this is so good mm.